On June 12, the Moscow Exchange announced that it would no longer use the U.S. dollar and euro for foreign exchange and precious metals trading. According to Chinese strategist Professor Wang Xiangsui, this move is a forceful response to the weaponization of the dollar initiated by the U.S. and the EU. And it sets an example for other countries who might face Western economic sanctions in the future. This shift could lead to a significant change in global finance. Currently, the U.S. dollar and euro remain dominant currencies due to the economic strength of the West and their widespread international usage. Ruble had experienced great depreciation as a result of the economic sanctions imposed by the U.S. and E.U. following the Russia-Ukraine conflict. In defense of ruble, Russia once tried pegging the ruble to gold and natural gas. But to proactively stabilize its currency market, Moscow mandated on March 31, 2022, that all gas payments be settled in rubles. The Moscow Exchange's latest announcement can be seen as an extension of Russia's proactive effort. It's a solemn statement to the international financial market that Russia is foregoing dollars and euros from now on. Why is it important for Russia to announce its stance? First and foremost, since the sanctions from the West show no signs of ending anytime soon, and the West is continuously aiding Ukraine using assets confiscated from Russia illegally, Moscow is left with no choice but to institutionalize its counter-sanction measures. An economic and currency division between Russia and Western countries is now officially established, shifting the world economy from globalization toward regionalization. A Russian commodities exporter told Reuters, we don't care, we have yuan. According to the report, China's yuan has ousted the dollar to become MOX's most traded currency, accounting for 53.6% of all foreign currency traded in May. By prioritizing economic and political security over the economic prosperity that globalization can potentially bring, Russia is offering another dimension with which to gauge national interest. Russia is also showing other countries how Western sanctions can be navigated. It's highly likely that other countries might follow Russia's lead because frequent Western financial sanctions have undermined the reliability of the dollar as a universal medium of exchange. This can be seen as a backlash against the U.S. and Europe's overuse of financial power, weaponizing the dollar and euro. However, one cannot narrow Moscow's new move down to merely a tick-for-tack response against the U.S. According to the Russian Central Bank, companies and individuals can still buy and sell dollars and euros through Russian banks. All dollars and euros in personal and company accounts and deposits will remain secure. This indicates Russia's intention to stabilize its financial and currency markets, while an outright ban on the dollar would render the dollars held by some Russian individuals or companies illegal or worthless. Thus, the Moscow Exchange's announcement kills two birds with one stone. First, it is a demonstration of Russia's resolve to counter Western sanctions. Second, it serves to maintain the stability of its private financial market.